And our Prophet told us about wudu is that when you perform wudu, is that your sins leave your body hatta takhruja min alfarah, until that they come out of your fingernails. And there are some of the pious, and they actually mentioned this, Imam Sha'arani mentions this about Imam Abu Hanifa, is that he used to have the ability to look at water that people made wudu from, and he could see the traces of sin in the water because it washes it off. Khalas. And that's a, you don't want to see people's sins. And think about how hard it is to maintain a good opinion of someone if you see them do some form of abomination. And so imagine that being aware of that. For others, they could smell the stench, the filthy stench of sin. Because we know through prophetic narration is that, uh, that someone will say a kadab, a lie, and that the angels will that move away from that person that a mile or some large distance because of the foulness of the stench of that particular that sin that was committed, something, some lie that they said. So this is the nature of disobedience, is that it stinks. There's a huge stench to it. Now we always don't smell it, but as we become more spiritually aware and in tune, is that this is something that some people are afflicted with.